What's up guys, Wardude here, and uh, today we're going to be playing a little bit of uh, Day of Infamy, and um, what I like about Day of Infamy is uh, it's a lot like Insurgency. Um, if you don't know what Insurgency is, it's a uh, it's a game that you can get on uh, Steam, and it, it's, re it's pretty realistic, I mean... I'd say it's a hardcore game, you know, you, you, you can get suppressed, you can get sniped, all that fun stuff. So it's made by the same creators, but this is a World War One style, or World War Two, sorry, style game. Whereas uh, Insurgency is more of a modern war. Um, one of the main differences between Insurgency and Day of Infamy is um, the voice control. Uh, in Insurgency, you have to be close, or sorry, in Day of Infamy, you have to be close to the, your friends, for them to hear you. So, it's pretty realistic, or for the time of, you know, for the time. Um, so yeah, we'll just, uh, jump right into it, I guess. I have no idea what we're doing here. I see our guys keep getting murdered over there. I don't have a bipod. Oh, that must suck. So we gotta take B, but they're defending it. Wonder if anyone's gonna be foolish enough to peek out at us. Of course. Every time I look somewhere else, eh? It's usually how it goes. Come on. Peek out. So I did see a guy run back this way. That's not good. I don't know. I feel like this is a decent area, but... I don't see anyone, so I'm gonna try and get a better position here. Is there a way out this way? See if we can't get any, get a better view over here. What the fuck, where are they? I feel like that was our guys shooting at our own guys. Let's run, try and make it across. Oh, I see you there. Oh, did I get, oh, I got him. <laughs> As if, that was nuts. Okay, that never usually happens with pistols. Try and be a little careful here. I like the rain. Just trickling in, you know. So again, you know, like, ah, fuck. I went to go show you guys the difference between crouching and walking and just regular walking on uh, wood floors, and you could hear the footsteps when you're regular walking, but when you're crouching, you can't hear the footsteps, right? So that's pretty fun. But uh, no, this is uh, this is a really fun game, especially if you're just trying to get into these hardcore types of games, you know, like. Um, I don't know, like, um, Escape from Art, uh, Escape from Tarkov is coming out soon there, and that's a pretty hardcore game, like, you'd want to play something like this, and Insurgency, and maybe even Squad, if you like the, um, 
Oh shit, that guy got fucked up. Maybe even squad if you like the bigger map um, strategic style games, let's say. But uh, no, definitely if you if you enjoy this uh, type of stuff, definitely pick this up. I mean, it's still a little bit glitchy, but it is what it is. I mean, it is uh, it is a fairly new game. But really fun nonetheless. See if I can't. Uh, I don't even know the map, so I don't know where the fuck I'm going. This guy's got his bipod set up. I'm gonna try and make it past. Oh, I'm getting suppressed hard. Alright, let's see if I can't. There's one. Airstrike. Oh no, 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 fuck. <laughs> I saw the knee come out and then pop back in and I shot at it. And... Well, it didn't go too well for me, let's say. Menuiserie. Ebenisterie. Hmm. Interesting. Looks like we're in France. Aperitif à la Jantaine, Suez. L'ami de l'estomac. <laughs> Friend of the stomach is what that means. Hmm. Cool. All right. Let's see if we can't try and do this again. I think we push back up. Game over we're playing right now, I believe, is called Push. And so it's kind of like um, um, Conquest, I guess, in other game modes. Like if you ever played Battlefield and stuff, it would be more of a Conquest type where you can recapture points to push back. That's not good. Wow. Don't know where that came from, but it was a bazooka, and I did get pooped on. Hmm, so yeah, here, uh, if you press tab, you have a map, you have the enemy score, objective score, KDA, ping, same thing with your team. Your team's always going to be in green, doesn't matter what team you're on, so right now we're the Wehrmacht. But, uh, yeah, there's a few different classes as well. If you go to outfit selection, you have officer, rifleman, assault, support. Flamethrower, which is pretty interesting. Communications, engineer, machine gunner, and sniper. I enjoy sniper, machine gunner, and assault. The uh, MB40 is always fun to use. But that's just personal preference. And the customization is insane. I mean, it's not, it's not really crazy, but it, it's a lot better than what you would see in most AAA games in my opinion so oh I see you there I missed you I missed them See if I can't. Can I see a window? No. Alright. Oh, he is dead. 
So that's good. Now. Fall back and regroup. I don't know what that does exactly. Saw a guy across the road here. But I also know that I'm pretty deep in enemy territory right now. Here we go. Even the pistols are pretty decent here. Ah, oh, really? I ran away. I saw you had a bazooka and I'm like, oh, oh fuck, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, what do we got? Five deaths, four, or four, four deaths, five kills. That's not too bad. I was deep in their enemy, in their territory, though. I think it was in this building right here. Or maybe this building. I can't remember exactly. I'm not too familiar with the maps. But I would like to do that again. I did enjoy using the pistol to run around. And that's the thing is like the pistol from a decent range is is viable. I mean, in a lot of games that you play like say Call of Duty or Battlefield, like it's unrealistic where if you're at a far enough range, you know, like a pistol, if you get shot in the head once with a pistol in real life, doesn't matter how far you are. I mean, chances are you're fucking dead. But that's what this game mostly represents. Like you get, you can shoot the guy a couple times in the body and he's pretty dead with a pistol, you know. But in like Call of Duty and and uh, Battlefield. You do that shit, and uh, the guy tends to survive every once in a while, and you're like, what the fuck happened? Was that a... Oh, he's laying down. Sorry, I'm concentrating right now. Okay, so I know that they're gonna come out of this area then. If not to the right, which will fuck me. It's a thin line. So he's popping the smoke. Let's see if anyone comes down this way. <coughs> If not, they're probably just trying to get over there, but I want to say they might be trying to get... Yep. Don't. Don't, 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 don't. Fuck. Don't do it. I knew it. That's right. I saw you run by. That's the worst part is waiting someone else out. You know, as soon as I go to move, he's gonna run in and I'm gonna get fucked. Give myself more room to work with. This guy's gonna die. Oh, he's still alive. What the fuck? Okay, while well, I'm running in. Take the advantage. Okay, well, I don't want to be associated with that guy if he's going to be doing that kind of shit. Even though our position and whatnot. Nice. So we just won. Seven and four is our KD. And I mean, there's some people that get 36 kills, 32, you know. It is possible to get high KDs in this game. 
So, yeah. Oh, we tied. What? How did we get victory and tie? Anyway, that was uh, Dave Infamy. And I hope you enjoyed it. It was just a quick little gameplay just to kind of show you what the game was all about. If you like it, go pick it up on Steam. Anyway, this was War Dude. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, share it with your friends. And then again, if you didn't like it, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to force you to do anything. Take care, guys.